Welcome to my online piano lesson tip series. My name is Ari, the owner of pianoteacher.nyc. In this episode, I would like to talk about the reason why I prefer using FaceTime over Zoom for some students. So let's dive in. Okay, so following are the reasons why I prefer FaceTime. Reason number one, FaceTime has a history. If you own iPad, iPhone, or iMac, you do know FaceTime. It was released in 2010, ever since it has a stable reputation. Reason number two, it's very simple to use. Well, the other day I was giving a lesson to a seven years old girl using Zoom and accidentally she pressed one of the function buttons on screen. She had no idea how to turn back the video on. She disappeared for a few minutes until her mom came out to fix the problem. Also, her mom wasn't that familiar with Zoom yet compared to FaceTime. So we decided to switch back to FaceTime. Okay, so this is how you use FaceTime. First, you open the application. Then you will see the pop-up window to type in your FaceTime ID and password. Then you have to type in verification code that's going to be sent either to your phone or you may see directly on your screen. Once it's verified, you're going to log in and you will see the screen to type in your contact FaceTime ID. Before to do so, I want to show you this. You should click on the green button to maximize your window. And let's click on this video menu. Here you see what kind of camera or microphone you can use. So in my case, I will see built-in camera or webcam. So right now the built-in camera is checked. And this section down here is the microphone section. And down below is a speaker section. And honestly, I really touch this window section. Okay, so let's type in your contact FaceTime ID. I'm just giving you an example, so I'm going to type in my FaceTime ID. And you're going to click on the video icon. Now you'll see the other person's screen. And I want you to click on this green button, then it's going to show full screen. It's going to black out the desktop, and now it's in focus mode for FaceTime only. This is very important. Please click on video menu. And you'll see the drop down again and go to use landscape, click on it. Now you see my screen tilted to landscape. Now this is when contact tilt their phone for horizontal mode. I highly recommend both of you guys will use this horizontal mode so that you can max use your screen on both ends. This is when your student use portrait mode and you can see these blackout section. This is landscape mode and you see better this way. And this is vertical mode. So the bottom line is both of you guys will use landscape mode. If your student use vertical mode and you use horizontal mode or vice versa, then field of view is gonna be so much narrower. Okay, so this is all what you need to know about FaceTime. If you have any questions or comments, please write down in the comment section below. So this is the end of the episode. If you liked my video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel. I also have my Instagram account at pianoteacher.nyc. Thanks and see you in the next one. Happy teaching everyone!